Hey guys, Cyberwake here today and welcome back to Transport Fever! We're, we're finally doing pretty okay. Uh, we were just a negative for a second there, but we're actually doing pretty okay. Except for the past few years where we've lost money. But I think that's actually mostly just because of getting new vehicles. Yep, yeah, vehicles have been uh, replaced and all that kind of stuff. If we have a look at our lines, uh, most of these trains have now been replaced to the new one, except for that one. I guess that will probably be replaced soon when we have the money. Uh, all these buses have been replaced, except for those guys. Uh, these trains are still the older ones, but they will be replaced eventually. Now, so these lines are making us a bunch of money, which is really, really good. I think T1, uh, could probably... No, actually, no, not T1. T3 could probably use a second train. At some point. Because that's a 7 minute frequency. Which I, I think we can do better with. What I would like to do though. Is because you know last time we, we set up all these lines here. Going off out and about. Uh, where we need them to. It's good. Uh, I think I might actually go towards. Hmm. Maybe. Ooh, actually might expand uh, the T3 line. Out over to Palm Bay. Just because it's already quite big. And we already apparently have buses going here, which I didn't really know that we'd... Buses between there and Boma. I don't know why we've set that up, but apparently we have that going. So we might send out that line. Uh, <laughs> so we might send the line out that way. And actually, so if we have... So T1 is over here. T1's going to come up this way, isn't it? And keep going over there. They'll probably terminate up there. Maybe we should have... No, that would be really... This line is just... This line's a bit of a mess. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the T1 where it sort of goes up and around. It's not the best, but you know what, let's, let's deal with it. Right, so over here in Palm Bay, this is where I want to go next. I think we might have just bought another train, because new vehicles, minus 3.3 .3 million. Yeah, every time we have a bunch of money, then just, dis yeah, that train got replaced. <laughs> every time we have a bit of money, they just disappear. Uh, that's fine, it's because we what we want. So all the residents are over here, so I think a train station down here or around the side there might be quite good. So let's have a look. Train station. Uh, terminal... Is this a new one, or is this the new Wait, because we definitely have a new train station, right? So that is the old one. This is the new one. So we can use this one now. Alright, let's use this. So two platforms, there we go. Second street connection, yeah, we'll get that on now anyway. We'll just get everything put together. So this is going to come... Yeah, I'm thinking on this side. This side looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to... Sneak in here. I have to destroy one of the roads, though. Let me just pause that. Get rid of that, and then we'll chuck this guy in right here. Get rid of those houses. Oh, actually, that's probably too close to the road there. It probably won't go flat. Because um, it's, it's fairly uneven here, actually, is the problem I'm noticing. That should be okay. Alright, so then let's just get these, get these rails out now before people start building here again, because they like to do that. Uh, 120, is it? It's pretty uneven there, but I think it's okay. That will come down, that will come down. And then, we're just going to connect through to here. Which is fairly, fairly hilly. So, this will be interesting. Might be worth... Tunneling through there. Our first tunnel for $500,000. Because I think that's actually going to be worth it. Because that is quite hilly at that point. So, that's going to continue. Uh, then we're going to need to do another tunnel directly next to that. For, oh, cheaper. I guess because we've already done most of the tunneling. So there you go. Nice. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful tunnel. All right. That'll go there. Then we just got to take this up to here. Should be fairly straightforward. So this can come around here. At 120. It needs to really... Can that come in a little tighter? It can. Because we do actually need to angle it in quite a bit here. To get it heading back over that way. Can we just... 714... Oh. It's trying to build a bridge. Okay, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not build a bridge there. It's like, why are you spending so much money on that? Okay. Nope. Auto save. Okay, build to there. Ooh, we got a plane. And then... To there. Is that connected? I can't even tell. I think so. 120 all the way along as well. Oh, no! I was like, is that connected? Then I was like, yeah, it is. And then the last second I realized it actually wasn't. Damn it. Oh no, we have high speed tracks now. Damn it, I should be using these. Right, this can be high speed. This section here can be high speed. 300 kilometers an hour on this bit. Good. I'll build the rest of the tracks out of this now. And we'll, uh, we'll go through and upgrade all the other tracks. 
I mean, it won't really matter for now. Because uh, none of our trains are going to be that fast at the moment. But when they are, it'll be nice to have that track. There you go. Damn, did we only... We must have just gotten that, right? Upgrade. High speed tracks. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about the rest of the track. We're just going to have one section of track there that's high speed for some reason. Okay, so then we got to go through and do all of our signals. Oh, we got the new signals. Do we have to replace the other ones? Or do they... Oh. Does it, I assume it doesn't matter. I hope it doesn't matter, because otherwise it's going to be really annoying. And I'm not going through and replacing them all, that's for sure. I'm just going to add the new ones in. New signals along the line. So this will get a new train, well, not an extended train line, I guess, heading out to... Where are we going? Palm Bay. Which is clearly not a bay. Nor are there any palms out here by the looks of it. So, <laughs> not sure where it gets its name from, but let's, uh, let's not worry too much about that. Alright, so this is going to come in, and then we're going to need a crossover here at some point as well, so... Probably going to have to be before the road, so let's go... Oh, hello. What is going on here? Here. And here. Too much slope, really? Why do those crossings never work? It's always too slopey. I have to get rid of those signals then. It's going to be in the way. Damn it. I wonder if we can start there. No, nah, doesn't let you go through it. Fair enough. Right, so we'll just go from there and then back across. There we go. Alright, so signals coming through. There, there. Why not? There and there. Okay, so I don't know which side of the track it's going to go to there, but that's fine. So this is for T3. So I definitely want to get another train on this now. At least one more train on it. So let's have a look. Buy a train. So that's the one we're using, I think. Uh, but we also have this one. We also have that one. But we'll probably just go this one again. 1.73 million. Are you sure that's the train we're... I don't think that's the train we're using, is it? So it was a cheaper train than that. No, it totally is. Okay. Just expensive, that's all. Good. Alright, so, well, I mean, all these lines are making money, so who am I to complain? Like, I mean, they're making millions each, so it's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to buy this train the second we have enough. There we go. Uh, and then we're using... I think we're still using a really cheap... We, no, we can't... Are we? What are we using? No, no, no. We're using these ones. Which is... These? No. No, we are using the super cheap ones. <laughs> That's right, because I think we used, tried to use the more expensive ones, but they, were, <laughs> they cost me too much money. Yeah, we should probably upgrade those passenger cars at some point. Oh no, a new train. Oh well, whatever. Okay, just get away from money for a second. We'll get this next train going. Come on. Minus 300,000 at the moment. It'd probably be worth adding more carriages to some of these trains, I would suggest. But, I've suggested that in the past, and as have you guys. You guys have also suggested adding more carriages to the trains. But... Ugh, just means I have to take them all back to the depot and it just takes too long and I can't be bothered to do that. Uh, <laughs> we'll do that when we have more money and it's easier to organize. Oh god, why are we so negative at the moment? There we go. So I need two more of these guys. 498, there's one. I need one more. 400... Oh, two point... <laughs> Went from like 400,000 to 2k. Come on. There it is. Alright, so this will go to T3. Oh no, what? This has to wait? At least I mean it's going directly into the station. Good. That means that we should have a good spacing on this line then. Right, that'll go there. That one's on its way back. Then, we want to go T3. Uh, add station. This guy here. And then, back there again. Right, so that adds in another line, or another st another stop. So now it's, the frequency is actually less than what it was before. It used to be 7, now it's 8. Just because of how far apart we have to go. And um, we'll set up a bus loop around this city as well, as we always do. So get one right here by the... Well, as close as we can to the train station. There. There. Down over here. Over there. Over here. And that should actually cover everywhere, I think. So. New line. One, two, three, four... Five, and that's good. We could stop at the one in the middle, but 
Nah, can't be bothered. That's fine. Alright, so this is Palm... Oh. Palm Bay Loop. There you go. So that'll go there. Then this guy's going to have a few buses running on it. Which I guess is going to be this guy? Yeah. One, two, three, four. There you go. You go on this one. And then... I'm going to go here. Auto renew as well on these vehicles. Or auto replace. Uh, 25%. It's going to be that one for now anyway. And yes. Cool. So, uh, I would like to get another train on T3 as well to increase the frequency. Because we have one there. The other one is there. So if we get one now from over here, that will probably be good spacing as well. So we get the same train. Same crappy carriages. Need one more though. Come on. Someone give me some money like right now. Come on. 498. Oh, min not minus 498, please. Positive 498,000. Thanks, guys. We're trying to make money here. Not lose it. The problem with these trains is they take, because they take a while to get between stops. So, oh, God. So, in the meantime, you're sitting here waiting for the money. Like, we're, we're making profits through the roof. It's just that the time it takes them to make the money it means that in between. We don't do so well. Oh my god. Hurry up. Ugh, so stupid. Borrow. There we go. Uh, bye. <laughs> I, can't, I can't sit there and wait anymore because it's just going to be stupid. Alright, so we got a $13 million loan. Whatever. Right, so T3 now has another train. Five minute frequency. Not bad. Four and four minutes on the other lines. So we should be turning a pretty good profit on most of these. I mean, look at this station. There's 200 people there. Now we're down to, well, after this one, T2 has a lot of people waiting for it. How many people are around the T2 line, actually? That's a good question. Oh, a lot of people there, too. 180. We probably want to look into... T2 down there is not so much. Maybe looking into adding more carriages to the T2 trains would be a good idea, because the ones in the middle are getting pretty busy. I might start sending some of these back to the depot. Uh... And start replacing... Or just adding more carriages. Where is this guy? This guy's here. Okay, you get your money. Then go to the depot. Immediately. And I'm going to add another carriage to you. Maybe another two. Might be too much. But we're going to do it. Uh, buy trains... Okay, so you go there. Who's next? So that's that one. This one. Oops. No, no, no. This one is here. Okay, go to the depot. Hopefully it goes straight in. Perfect. Okay. My trains. Get another two of these. T2. Okay. Then I'm also going to go onto this. Make sure I set the vehicle to have two more of these on it. And they replace. Okay. Uh, then you. Uh, you can go when you get up there. That's fine. Where's this one? This one is... Not the right train. That's T1 train. Whoops. No, those are T1. Whoops. Uh, this one. Where are you? You are here. Okay, so we're just going to wait till they both get to the next stop and then we'll replace them. And get extra carriages on them, because I think that might be a good idea. There's just so many people waiting at these stops. Which I don't think is- I don't imagine is a good thing. Right, so that one's nearly at the other end of the line, this one's nearly at this end. So I want to wait for them to get their money first, because they've got 48 people on them each, so we'll get a good payout. And then we'll send them to the depot. So here we go, this guy's pulling in. Okay, and then you go to the depot, because he's already got his money. This guy's about to pull in as well. Uh, money, and go to the depot. Right, so this one's going to be over here. Uh, buy trains. Two more of those. And then T2. Good. 
And then hopefully this still makes money with these longer trains and we're not spending too much on like just maintenance or whatever, or running costs rather, I should say. All right, buy trains. Uh, at, at some point, oh, I ran out of money. At some point we'll also probably upgrade to more expensive, <laughs> to better passenger carriages too, at some point. I, I don't know what that point is, but uh, at some point. Uh, I think what I'll do, no, I won't even bother to change that at the moment. All right, so now all of these trains have more carriages. Here we go. 71 of 80 people on board. Beautiful. This could be good. Getting a little expensive. I guess it'll be replaced soonish. I don't know. I don't know when. Okay, so. Oh, here we go. Alright, so pull it in. We've got a bunch of people waiting here now. So now we should. Uh, only 300,000 on that, but I don't think not everyone got off. But the train is now full. So that's good. And there's a. Absolute ton of people waiting up here at this station. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Oh, actually, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could build a bridge over here to sort of connect this half of the town. Um, I think we might be able to get one in here somewhere. So if we go... Well, get rid of that bit. I think we might be able to... I guess use a lot. large street? Is that what we... No. But I think I might build it as a large street anyway. Uh, so if we go here... No! Not that. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally built that. Right here. Up. We gotta, we gotta make sure we get up. Come on. Go up, you prick. Maybe that'll be fine. I bet it won't be that. Oh, actually. Hang on. Then you go... No, go... No, go level. Oh, what are you trying to do that for? Ah, oh, okay. So it almost works. Um... We need more of a run-up. See, ideally I'd want a bridge here, though. Oh, hang on. You know what? I'm, I'm going to spend money destroying all of this, and it better be worth it. Because <laughs> I want the bridge to come through here. Because so, that seems too far away. I want it, like, here. It's just so hard to bridge in this game because the way it does the terrain makes it really difficult. Okay, here we go. Okay. So... Here. Up. There. Come on. Don't. Don't let me down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, hang on. Ending point needs to be... See, does I have to slope up so much? Because I'd rather it be like that, but... Why? It just does the terrain, which makes it a little bit... Stop doing the terrain there. I can do that, but that's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's not. Eh. I mean, it's not the best. Hang on, we can get it to there. That's not bad. Oh, hang on. <gasps> no, I think, I think there is where we can get it to. That's not bad. Yeah, there you go. Alright, and then this can come around. There, and it's like a main road that goes... Okay, can it not do that? Well, anyway, you get the idea. So now they can build there, and they can drive across that way. Good. It's like a main road that just goes to a little, <laughs> like a little alley of a road. It's like the stupidest thing. But, I think that's kind of cool, because now... Because before they were connected by a dirt road that crossed, like... Well, how many train lines is that? Six train lines. Which is a bit ridiculous. Now they have a way to actually bridge across. Which is good. Uh, oh, careful where you build there, buddy. Because if you ruin me tracks, I'm going to be mad. Uh, oh, that, speaking of tracks, this is what we got to do. we got to upgrade all these to high-speed tracks. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. How many people on that train? 80? Good. All right. So, actually, speaking of... Uh, not speaking of anything, but just train lines in general. Four minutes, five minutes, five minutes. All good. Should we start a new train line? Or should we extend one? Might start a new one. Let's go... Maybe up to Tallahassee now. Could be worth it. Extend that train line there now. Or we start going down this way like we... We're going to. I mean, we're going to, but... It's going to take a bit of time. Or do we do this one that goes up to Omaha? Maybe we'll go all the way up to Omaha. And we'll see if we can get a high-speed train going on. Oh, okay, we have no money. <laughs> we haven't... Technically, we haven't made money for years. But somehow, we still have money. 
And it's because we keep buying new vehicles. I might actually turn off the, uh, the auto renew on some of these. No. Uh, no. Because I think by the time... I'll leave it on this one because these haven't replaced yet. By the time... Uh, train 4. Which is train 4? Train 7, train 8, train 9. What the hell is train 4? It's gonna be one of... No, train 4? No, what? I just bought... Oh no, actually the locomotive I didn't buy new, did I? I just added new... No, never mind. Good point. Fair point. Uh, nah, it'll be fine. I think. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's still making loads of money. We'll replace them soon. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. Okay. High speed tracks. Here we go. So. Gotta try and get this up to Omaha. At maximum speed. Because we're gonna get a super fast train on here at some point. Don't know what point, but at some point. Okay, all the way through here. Good. Look at this. Express to Omaha. Don't do that. We're going to cut through the ground a little bit. It's 300 all the way along. Look at this. Uh, probably should figure out where the station's going to go. Probably on this side. So, bring it up this way a little bit. Yeah, that looks good to me. So, I mean, it goes like this. And then we'll have the station there. Right, let's get a station in. Uh, this guy, this guy, 242, high speed. Street connection 2, good. Uh, yeah, I'll go about there. And we'll connect it to the road eventually, obviously. Now, I think I've connected that to the right side. Uh, right, this can come all the way down. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, doesn't want to do that. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is... Probably should have done that in smaller sections. <laughs> that was incredibly laggy. Alright, let's do it like this. To that bit. To this bit. Thought I could have just saved some time by doing it in one go, but I guess not. To that bit. Uh, to there. Okay, here we go. This is working. Now, we have to get a fast train on this line. Just to test out how fast it can go. There we go. All right. So now down here, we're going to make sure we do. A... Let's see if the crossover is going to work on this one or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know the, the track isn't connected. All right. So that'll go there. Hey, there we go. The proper X crossing. Professor X. Okay. A couple signals there. And then, yeah, it's down the line. Get a bunch of them on it, as we always do. So we can have multiple trains and not worry about it. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming these are all in the right spot. They usually work out okay, so I'm going to assume that these are all working just fine. Um, there we go. And the train's going to have to like slow down massively when it gets to this point. Uh, and that should be fine. That'll bring it back into the station. Cool. All right. So, then we have a brand new line that can actually be set up from here to Omaha. I mean, it doesn't have a thing. Uh, this is what, T4? Whoops. It doesn't have a uh, connection in Omaha, but it will do. Alright, so T4 exists. Just nothing going on there yet. Uh, we're going to get out a medium street. Sure, I'm going to remove three buildings. I don't care about that. Do I have to remove? Uh, I will actually remove that building because the train line will probably need to go there. Oh, why did you... Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, and then they can build the rest of their own roads. Uh, cool. And then this track is going to go, I guess, up to Fullerton, isn't it? So it will come... I'll get the track coming out now. Straight ahead so we get full speed at the mall. Probably will not be able to go full speed all the way up to Fullerton, but that's fine. Anyway, we'll get the tractor there. That should be fine. Okay, so... I think I might get a... Depot out here somewhere. Just so we have another one, because... Well, it's going to be so far away again. And I don't think the other one that we have is actually connected to this line, is it? Because that one's there. We'd have to, we'd have to build some more tracks or something. 
Um, actually, I wonder if we can uh, get one in the middle here. Some somewhere here would be good, right? If we go under that, how good would that be? If I could lower the thing. Can I just move this? Can I move it down? Is there a move down button? I know there's terrain tools, but smooth. Is there like no? It's not like. I'm gonna flatten it though. Hundred eight thousand. It's all right. Because if this works, this could be quite. This could be a quite a good spot for one actually. Smooth. All right, let's see if we can get one in here. A train depot. Here we go. This actually might work. Oops, wrong way. All right, go down. Oh, let's just try there. Is that too high? Oh, that might be too high. Okay, further down, please. Just make sure that we can actually. Connect it. And get here. This looks better. Mm, this looks like it could work. There's no point having high-speed track on this because it's not. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's not going to join in because of the bridge. <sighs> well, if it joins there, this track here can go to either station. But it can't. We just need this track to be able to connect to every other bit of track. So if I can go like this or something. Maybe here. Okay, so now that train can go on this line and either of these ones. But I need it to get over to the other side here somewhere. If I can get that in. Oh, I can. Okay, so now it can go to any side of the platform from there. Good. All right, that works. Now, if I can get it to go the other way, that'll be even better. I don't think it's going to work because of the bridge. Actually, I don't even think it's the bridge. I think it's the... Is it the building? I think it's just the building. Slash other rail. Yeah, look, it's just that building they put there. Go away. Whoops. <laughs> Why doesn't that work? Because of that bit of track... Apparently that works, but I have to remove all these buildings. Okay, can that... Stupid thing. <laughs> okay, so that can work, but I have to remove the buildings. That's fine, I don't care about that. Okay, so that will come all the way through to there. But then I also need this one to connect to it. Please. How can I connect through this track to the other one, but I can't get it to connect to this one? Ugh. So stupid. But I think... No, I just need to get it to... Hang on, where does it join? Here. No, that's not going to work. Damn it. Maybe there. And then get this to go in. Hang on. There. Oh my god. Okay, so I can go there. Oh, this is confusing. This is so confusing. Oh, why is this so difficult? <laughs> so at the moment, this can go to this right-hand track. It can go to the right-hand track of that and then go to the left-hand track of that. The other one I can't get to is this track here on the left, which we might be able to do down here. There. Okay, so now I can get to all the tracks from that depot. Jeez, that's confusing. All right, now I don't know what we don't have any signals over here yet, so we're going to we're going to need some for sure. Um I don't even No, just everywhere. Just signals everywhere, please, cuz I don't know. Okay, then we'll have one there. There. One there, one there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it should work. Uh, <laughs> it should work, maybe. Right, so wait, what the hell was I doing with this? Oh, I was buying new transport T4. Or well, whatever the hell we're doing. So now. Uh, the fastest train that we have is this guy at 113 kilometers an hour. It is co it does cost 8.27 million and uh, it costs a little bit too much to run. So probably won't run that train. Uh, we will probably just go for this guy again. The one we've been using, really. Although, does that one... Hang on. Oh, this one's so much cheaper to run as well. Yeah. All right, let's get this guy. Let's get different carriages, though. Let's get more expensive carriages, maybe. 180. We don't need to go 180, do we? So let's go these guys. They're way cheaper. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. P4. I'm going to go this guy. Oh, not enough money. All right, sorry. This guy. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. I realize I have no money, but still. Okay, so there's not going to be anyone on it at all. One, two, nope, just the one. <laughs> one, two, no, just the one. How much does this cost? 789,000. Fair enough. We'll need to replace the other train at some point as well. That the number four train, that was, uh... Oh, God, really? I can afford one? Right, so this guy should be rocketing down at 100 kilometers an hour instead of 300, which it is capable, this, this track is capable of. Uh, we'll get a faster train soon. 81, 82, 83. Four flying. Okay, if we could have some positive money, that'd be good. I doubt anyone's waiting up here yet, are they? Oh, they're building around the station, though. We'll get a bus line set up there soon. Just spent <laughs> way more time building that depot than I thought I would. But it means it feeds all of this track here, which is actually really good. Only that direction. It doesn't go the other way, but it can feed any of the eight lines, which is pretty sweet. Two. Okay. Did I do, how many did I do on this thing? Four? I don't know. Is there four carriages? One, two, three, four, yeah. I reckon this train's going to cost us a bit of money to start off with. Uh, ideally, if I could get this train built and running before the other one arrives, the spacing would be better. But I don't think it's going to happen. No, just waiting for the money. Almost there, five, oh, nope. <laughs> Almost there, 580,000 and minus 92,000. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Deary me. Okay, can this guy give me some money? Anyone? 300,000? Nope. Train 6 needs to be replaced as well. There it is. 1, 2, 3, 4. And T4. Unfortunately now, they're going to be really close together, but whatever. Anyone waiting for T4? Oh, there's one person. That's pretty good. So this guy is now coming into the station. At the exact same time that one is. Fantastic. Great timing, guys. Well, one passenger. Uh, so, let's go up here. And let's get a bus service. And then we'll look at replacing the other trains as well. That's not a bus service. <laughs> On a road depot. Here we go. Tram depot. No, I don't want to tram one. I'm going to put it right there. Because why not? And then, I'm going to get out... Whoop, whoop. Uh, here we go. So, one right by the train station, of course. Uh, one there. Uh, one there. And probably one there. Those four stops should be enough to cover the town quite nicely. By road vehicles. One, two, three, four. Set line. No. No, don't upgrade. Set line. New line. If I could see, please. One, two, three, four. And this is... I don't know. I don't remember the name of this town. Omaha. Right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it's paused. Unpause. And... Here we go. The Omaha Loop. That's how you spell Omaha, right? Yeah. Good. Oops, didn't mean to knock on your door. Sorry. Right, so that should get passengers moving there. That train is following a little too closely behind. Um, okay, so... Let's go to... I think it was... One of these. Uh, so I'm going to go no on auto-replace on that now. Let's go to this line. 
Let's change these trains entirely to what they'll replace to. Set vehicle. I still think that this is probably our best bet. It's still pretty fast and it's not super expensive. So I'm still going to use that. And I think I'll just use these characters, six axle passenger cars. One, two, three, four. And I'll say yes on that one. So that will replace with those when it can afford to. Did it just do that? Huh. Didn't really mean right now, but... Where did you even get that money from? Eh, whatever. Uh, and then we'll do the same on these. Because I think that's a, a better option for now. Two, three, four. So I'll replace with those ones. I guess I don't need to remove the whole train because the, the actual locomotive is staying the same, but whatever. I like I like the look of that, but it's I don't know that we have enough money or have enough income to support that. I'm not sure. Uh, so that will be auto-replaced as well. Those ones cannot be auto-replaced. Buses. Is that vehicle to that? Auto-replace. Cool. All right. So those will all be going through. Now, these guys, got, they got seven passengers on there. You got 18. Not bad. But this means this one will have almost no one on it. Look at these trains rolling in here. This is great. 255 people at this station. T2 and T3 are doing absolutely well. And when we have enough money, these will be upgraded to have better passenger capacity. Especially those ones. Yeah, T3 could probably use an upgrade. Train 3 has reached its lifetime and should be replaced. It will be when we have money to do that. I assume. We're making money. It's just going to take a bit of time. So now, if we have a look at what we've got. We've got T1, which is not even that great of a line anymore. Going around here. We have T2 going all the way up there. We have T3... Going from there across and T4 going up again. So you can now get from Omaha all the way down to McAllen. Look at this place. I probably should get some more buses around McAllen, actually. I only have four. Maybe I'll get a, a few more buses. Uh, that's not the one, right one. Uh, where's the depot? There it is. Get another four. We'll double the amount on it. One, two, three, four. McAllen loop. Because there's just so many people waiting at these stops for some reason. It's very popular around here. Uh, as is Palmdale a little bit, actually. So I might get some more here as well. Maybe just another two. To Palm... No, that was Palm Bay. Damn it. No, 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 no. That's the wrong one. <laughs> That's too far away. Uh, Palmdale Loop. Sorry. And you as, you as well? There we go. Palmdale Loop. There you go. Yeah, otherwise I'd be driving for a while to get to the other place. Okay, that's good. Uh, those look good. The other ones don't look too busy, the other loops. Mm, that one a little bit, but it's okay. Cool. All right. So now I guess the next line that we want to do... Well, ne next up, I really want those trains to be replaced before we do much else. They, uh, they're getting replaced a little bit. So this guy's been replaced. Oh, look how cheap it is now. Well, it's only been part of the year. But still, they're making good profits, though. Making really good profits. T4, not not so much. But it will. It will. Once it... Uh, where are the trains? They're still super close, aren't they? Yeah, they really need to be further apart than that. Anyway, so up here we have 36 people waiting. That's not bad. So that should get a decent amount of people on the way back. Not T4. T4 had like 13 people waiting. It's it's getting more popular. 13 on the train. How fast do these go? 87. Did they ever actually reach 100 kilometers an hour? Because that is their theoretical max speed of the locomotive. I doubt it'll actually get to 100, but it's getting pretty close. Like, it's going 94, 95, 96. Ooh, it's probably going to have to slow down soon. 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh, it does make it. That's good. And then it slows down. Until like the last second. Not bad. Alright, so 16 people. 166,000. It's taking 48 on the way back. Not bad. But unfortunately, that means there's not going to be anyone here for the next train, which is not far behind again. Hmm. T4. A few people. Okay. I do like how... I do like that Waco is definitely turning into a fantastic little hub city. Look at this. Because we have the train station right in the middle. All these lines going right through it. We... Got that beautiful bridge, which unfortunately is actually not that much built around it, but... Shh. 
Yeah, I hate when the game does stuff like this, where it like builds a house and then it messes up the terrain around. Like this still works, it's just it look doesn't look good. That's no, done that. Eh, some people using the bridge. I kinda wish there was more people building around here though. Oh, it's good though. This is really, really cool. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> right, so are these trains replaced yet? They're getting there. All of T2 is, so I'm going to turn off auto replacement T2. Uh, put away for T3 and T1 to replace, and then we're good. All right, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.